impression that all right the pains fan now, i will say that it was exciting to watch the opening episodes of the new series tyler perry's the pains where curtis and ella now are moved in florida thanks to curtis's rash decisions now um this isn't so much an episode review as just an open discussion about the series coming back on the tv i will admit that it was really exciting to see everybody again given the fact that a lot of us were under the impression that a lot of the main cast members would not be on the show but i do believe that on calvin uh i believe it's uh lance gross his um real life account on instagram uh not calvin Payne dash uh, big nasty like it was in the show last night double tap i was talking about the fact that on Instagram, he posted that he's going to be in at least the first three episodes. So I'm guessing that might be going the same for um, CJ and his family as well. Now, it does not surprise me that they might show up later on in the series, you know, back maybe in the back half of this season just to visit. But I will say that it was really interesting to see that the family dynamic of, you know, the pains, they pretty much picked up where we left off. The only difference is, is you know, Calvin's hairstyle, um, Jasmine and Malik gotten a little old, older, but that's it. Literally, it felt like I was watching a rerun, so to speak. They were just in Florida this time around. Uh, I will say that one of the best things about the episode itself was the fact that we really established the fact that, okay, they're going to visit family members that they really never heard about before. Here's what happened in terms of why they're going to Florida and what's going to happen in the future of this season. I mean, it does not it doesn't seem good that Joanne kind of lied well lied about the fact that the laundromat makes eight thousand dollars a month it probably did when it was up and running but not the trash heap that it is now and Curtis moving into a house that he and Ella can retire in without even cleaning it first really doesn't make sense at all I mean you I think he said like okay tomorrow everything from Atlanta is going to be moved down here Okay, that's all well and good, but where are you supposed to sleep until then? I mean, this isn't like David and Erica where they have a new house that's, well, brand new and they can sleep on the floor because, yeah, it's a nice house, not a place that looks like it needs to be fumigated. And um, in terms of the bad, just the bad, but this is just kind of nitpicky. Some of the jokes kind of ran on a bit too long, in my opinion. Like, for example, in the first episode, I believe when Calvin and CJ first saw the house, um, Curtis said, you know, hey, it's a surprise. And I moved every, we, I sold the house in Atlanta. I got people moving stuff down here tomorrow. So all of our stuff's coming down here. And Ella doesn't know about it. Then we had commercial break. Then we get to the show after the commercial. We see those three walking out of the house. And Calvin and CJ act like Curtis didn't just tell them that Ella doesn't know about it. And this went on for like a five minute dialogue and I don't know it felt a bit it felt it felt a bit stretched to me but I do remember that dynamic kind of being in the original House of Pain show as well but you know just a nitpick and secondly I know it's a sitcom but to me the laugh track is something that a lot of shows don't need for example I was born in 91 I remember watching Cousin Skeeter on Nickelodeon and I loved that show as a kid I went back to watch an episode maybe two years ago just for fun I think it was running reruns or something on the marathon and I found it cringy to kind of watch it just because there were there was a laugh track almost after every line of dialogue. And I felt like the same way watching the pains last night, especially when they were in the RV going down to Florida, you know, uh, Jasmine and Malik going back and forth and talking with Curtis and whatnot. Then when CJ and Calvin were poking fun at Curtis because they know about this surprise that Ella doesn't know about. I felt the laugh track was a bit overused and. I know it's not going anywhere, but that's just something that really could have been lessened in the episode. So we can re I don't need a laugh track to tell me when to laugh, you know, but that's just me. And uh, overall, it seems like we got eh, an interesting season coming up here. Not a terrible show. I mean, honestly, I felt it felt it was really enjoyable. There were some good laughs in there. I feel like I'm going to be saying double tap, you know, for no reason at all. So if you catch me saying that in the video, then I guess that's my new catchphrase. So uh, with that being said, I'll do more of an extended video episode review later on but i want to be honest here not i'm not saying it's a bad show it's just that this show is what i thought it would be a show i could watch for fun just for laughs there really isn't much to say when you think about it i mean curtis sold the house he has all their belongings moving down to florida and as calvin said you know they're all going back to atlanta thank goodness it said atlanta i, I remember some of my other pains videos i would say chicago by accident so yeah it looks like they have a nine hour commute if they want to visit Curtis and Ella in Florida. So 
As I said before, it wouldn't surprise me if they end up coming down uh, later on in the season. So those are just my thoughts on that. Maybe they'll have a Christmas episode later this year or a Thanksgiving episode where the whole family would come down. But uh, with that being said, you know, what did you think of the, you know, the pains of first two episodes here? As I said before, I really do like the fact that in terms of a family, it seemed a TV family, it seemed like everybody was easily able to pick up where they left off. You know, they just came back together. It was good seeing them all again, and I can't wait to see what's in store. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts on this opening two episodes. Are you excited for the pains? Will you be tuning in each week? And overall, what was your favorite part of the episode? Double tap.